There may be new hope for curing coronavirus, and it comes from an old drug that's been used for decades. As Andrew Horensky explained, it was first approved in the U.S. back in the 1944. As scientists around the world race to find a coronavirus treatment, there is new promise tonight in a new study out of Europe, where doctors combined a drug that treats arthritis and malaria with an antibiotic. The name of it is hydroxychloroquine, and it's sold under the brand name Plaquenil. When combined with azithromycin, coronavirus patients appeared to improve within days. I think it's going to be very exciting. I think it could be a game changer, and maybe not. And maybe not, but I think it could be, based on what I see, it could be a game changer. Today, the president announced chloroquine has been approved by the FDA to be tested here in the U.S. on the most seriously ill, those with no other options, and that any medications to come out of it could be fast-tracked for approval. While the FDA commissioner announced that could be at least a year after clinical trials are complete. We need the data, we need the information to make the absolute best decisions for American people. We need to make sure that these, uh, the sea of new treatments will get the right drug to the right patient at the right dosage at the right time. Closer to home, Dr. Michael Roizen of the Cleveland Clinic pointed out it should be an easy enough drug to get. It's a very inexpensive drug, it's generic, it's given all the time to everybody in, in Africa during the malaria season as a routine prophylaxis. There is um, some study going on of these antivirals, and we'll all like hope together that some of this will work. It'll give us more tools in our tool belt. Keep in mind that overseas study was conducted on a small sample size, just a few dozen people, and it is hardly the only source of hope tonight. Researchers in Canada were recently able to isolate and grow the coronavirus in a lab. Tonight, some of the best minds around the world are on it. In Cleveland, I'm Andrew Horansky. 3 News.